Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you guys had a wonderful time in the presence of God. We had a nice time at my church. God bless you. Welcome to World with Tina. My name is Tina. God bless you for joining us all the time in Happy New Week. So this week I want to talk about staying in your lane. I mean, stay in your lane. And I'm talking to believers. I'm talking to we Christians, you know. Staying in our lane is very, very important. And also, or actually to stay in your lane requires you to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Because first, for you to stay in your lane, you have to know what your lane is, what your job is, what your duty is, what you have been called to do. You have to first recognize that and then you stay there, you know, by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I want to read for, to us from Ephesians chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 11. And he himself is talking about God. Give some to be apostles. It says some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the, of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of trickery of men. I like the way it says trickery of men in the in, in the cunning craftiness and deceitful plotting. Beloved, this year if you must be successful as a Christian, this year if you if you want to save yourself some headache, like you know they will say to to maintain some mental you know to uh, to have a mental um, balance to balance your 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 mental health and all that you have to stay in your lane because if there's anything that has ever caused division in the church among the brethren it is the fact that we all run from one lane to the other we don't know what god has called us to do or maybe we know what god has called us to do but yet we still want to go to the other place i tell you you will be wasting your time find out what god has called you to do as a child of god first thing the moment you give your life to christ the second thing that you follow is you finding out your assignment your purpose on earth what is your purpose? What is that in that God has called you to do? Ask the Holy Spirit, He will reveal it to you and stay there. Now, it doesn't mean that you cannot have multiple gifts you have, but there's just that one purpose that God has called you for. Are you leaving it to drop it to another? There's a story that, you know, what a very interesting story in the Bible. I think I wrote it down here. That is in 2 Samuel chapter 6, 3 8. And that's the story repeated itself in 1 Chronicles chapter 13 from verse 7 to 11 and it talked about when David gathered, he said men of choice, men of choice. There's a reason why he said men of choice. He gathered them to, you know, sing and shout and they carried the ark of the Lord and as they were going, there's this young man, the Bible said that the, the ark stumbled, the ark stumbled and this young man tried to help but God was angry and God struck him dead. You know, the first time I read that scripture, I was scared. I said, but he was trying to help. That's why I said, if you listen to what I said in the beginning, that finding out what God has called you to do, your specific assignment requires you to be sensitive in the spirit. Because I believe the guy was not sensitive in the spirit. He probably, in the eyes of man, was trying to help. But in the eyes of God, he was obstructing what God was doing at that particular time. What is it that you're doing with all your power, all your might, when you're heading towards the wrong direction? You're obstructing what God is doing. You're obstructing the word of God. You're distracting the people that are doing the work of God. Beloved, find out what God has called you to do and remain in your lane. God bless you.